triangulation in seduction. Triangulation is a common manipulation used by all narcissists. You'll be triangulated with events, objects, and people. Triangulation appears at all junctures of the narcissistic dynamic. It appears when you're being seduced. It appears when you're being devalued. It appears when you're being hoovered. It is low energy, simple, and effective, allowing us to assert control over one or more appliances at the same time and for us to draw fuel. And therefore, you will find it in every single narcissist's armory of manipulations. Remember, lesser and mid-range narcissists use it in an unaware, unconscious manner. Greater and ultra do it deliberately. What about the use of triangulation in seduction? Our seductive tendrils wrap around the unsuspecting and draw them into our false reality. We have many ways of effecting this seduction. From the outrageous declarations of premature love, to the excessive texting and messaging, from the gifts and attentiveness, to the fantastic sex all dependent upon the cadre and school of narcissists that is engaging with you. There are many settings to our bow when it comes to seducing our victims. We love to utilise the allure of triangulation. Bringing someone else or something else into the dynamic between you and us generates endless possibilities for the assertion of control, fuel and to manipulate you. Triangulation is seen throughout the narcissistic dance and appears more than you may realise at the outset of your relationship with our kind. Of course, our most serious and intense seductive techniques are reserved for intimate partners who are en route to becoming the intimate partner primary source. But we will triangulate everybody that we need to control and draw fuel from. Whether you are a parent, a sibling, a co-worker, a boss, a friend, or someone who is an acquaintance, we will triangulate you in some way. When triangulation is used in seduction, it will be done to portray ourselves as a good and decent person. And, with regard to certain narcissists, especially mid-range, on the receiving end of some unpleasant and undeserved behaviour from a different source, in order to either make you admire us for dealing with this unnecessary attack, or provide us with affection to make the narcissist feel better, or sympathy. The lesser and particularly mid-range narcissist will seek pity. The greater will tell you about something, not for the purposes of making you feel sympathetic towards them, but rather for you to admire our fortitude in dealing with the situation in the face of such adversity. Greater narcissists and ultra don't operate through the requirement of provision. They might say something that seems to you to denote a request for pity, but it's not. Instead, it is simply telling you the facts of the way the situation is, and you can form your own conclusion. Your pity and compassion is unwanted. Your admiration for our ability to progress, notwithstanding these difficulties, is what is wanted. With the lesser and especially the mid-range narcissists, they do want your pity to feel sorry for them, to feel sympathetic and supportive. You are made to think that by we explaining our position to you in such detail, you are important and special because we are confiding in you. Perhaps, where well, lesser or mid-range, we are telling you something that is apparently troubling us. Where greater or ultra, we are drawing you into our inner circle, sharing an apparent secret with you, putting you on that pedestal. The actuality is that this is being done in order to assert control over you and draw an appropriate reaction from you for the purposes of gaining fuel. It is also designed... to make you admire us or in certain instances to cause you to believe that there is something that you can do to assist and help and therefore curry favour with us through this action. The use of triangulation and seduction isn't just reserved for intimate partner primary sources or intimate partner secondary sources. 
It can be used against non-intimate ones as well, friends, family, and colleagues. Invariably, the triangulation is spoken about because that is low energy, fast to use, and effective with regard to the assertion of control and the provision of control over you. In the circumstances, what it is appropriate is for you to understand the regularity by which this manipulation is used against you. Here are 15 common examples of triangulations in seduction. Number one, my wife doesn't understand me. Two, my husband has no interest in sex with me anymore. Three, my children don't respect me. Four, my parents expect me to be their full-time carers. Five, my boss is a tyrant. Six, my team are incompetent. Seven, my supplier is unreliable. Eight, my neighbour is inconsiderate and abusive. Nine, my partner never listens. Ten, my boyfriend spends all of his time with his friends rather than with me. Eleven, my girlfriend spends all of my money. Twelve, my friends expect me to be available all of the time. Thirteen, my partner just doesn't appreciate what I do. Fourteen, my girlfriend would rather play Candy Crush than talk to me. Fifteen, my children are terrible. They never ring me to see how I am.